Hey, here's a quick video on how to create your own GPT. So in ChatGPT, I am on the paid version. Um, go to explore GPTs. Then what you can do on top right hand corner here is you can press create. So if I make this our test one, and let's just say that's gonna be for our business for sales redefined. I might give a description of what does this chat GPT do. So in this instance, it might be a sales redefined copywriter. Um, it could be something else such as your researcher. You could give it all different tasks depending on where you want to get the help. So I could then give instructions. So if I say it's our copywriter, I could say we use UK English as an example. Could say our tone of voice is professional but with light humor and so on you know the more detail the better the result that you're going to get and then i can give other instructions as to what i want them to do then as a conversation starter i might say in our instance we have the sales rev up linked in blog is typically 500 to 750 words educational with credible references and actionable tips. Then what I do is knowledge. So you're best to upload some files. So whether that's your about us information, um, in this instance, some examples of the sales rev up blog so that it can have a reference point of all previous copy that you're referring to and examples to hand. And then that is it. I'm now going to create and bring it to life. I can have it only available to me, or if I want to share it with some of my team, it might be anyone with the link or go public available. Now, usual warnings in place here. Be really, really careful what information you are putting into ChatGPT. So do not put anything with confidential, sensitive information, anything like that. If we're doing copy for a blog, to me, I'm okay with that sort of information being on ChatGPT that goes back in and feeds the algorithm. So do be aware if you have any sensitive information, ChatGPT is not the right resource to use. That was a test one. I'll show you my actual one in action. If I go back to that, you can see I've got three shortcuts here. One is to do our newsletter for the LinkedIn blog. One is to do our newsletter, um, the email one. And the other one is um, for spelling checks and things that I do regularly. Now, as context for you in the background of this, I've got examples of previous sales rev ups inside Scoop. So they've got examples to refer to. I also have loads of information uploaded in terms of the resources, the research that I want it to pull from. So I could put in absolutely nothing and I could ask it to pull from that. And there you go. It's going to straight away produce one for me. Or I could say instructions I might have. So create a sales rev up based on, I'm gonna go with one that I wanna do at the moment actually. Why best practice isn't best practice. There you go, rubbish uh, brief, but there you go. I'm gonna give it a little bit of a brief. Now, context as well, I always get this and then I refine it, I tweak it. I have never copied, paste, that's it. I actually end up doing quite a bit of refinement, but it can really, really help me to, you know, rather than starting from a blank piece of paper, I have something to work from. And typically I put a lot more than that in terms of like, here's some bullet points, here's some notes, here's what I wanna write about, and then I put into it. And as I said, I've already uploaded a lot of sales redefined resources, so it's got that as reference points to already pull from. So it knows our style, it knows how we do it, it knows that we're using UK English, it knows our tone of voice, and so it makes everything a lot quicker. So give it a go and let me know how you get on.